Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another creature comparison. I gotten a request from my good friend Simon J to do the Pangolin versus the Armadillo. Okay, Simon, this one's for you, my friend. So get your body armor and curl up into a ball, and let's begin. As always, we start with our similarities. First up, both the pangolin and the armadillo are covered with heavy plates of armor that protects themselves against predators. In fact, the three-banded armadillo and all species of pangolins curl up into a ball when threatened. This protects their bellies from predators. And pangolins and armadillos are extremely good diggers. They have huge claws that are perfectly designed for digging, mostly for their food, but also to dig burrows for themselves. And uh, speaking of food, they both eat the same types of foods. In the wild, they eat ants, termites, and grubs. And they're both usually nocturnal. Now then, let's talk about the differences. First up, they're classified differently. All pangolins belong to the genus Manus in the order Manidae, which is the only family within the order Philidota. Whereas armadillos, along with anteaters and sloths, are Xenarthrans. There are also eight different species of pangolins, such as the Chinese pangolin, the giant pangolin, and the Temnix pangolin. By contrast, there are 20 different species of armadillos, including the nine-banded armadillo, the three-banded armadillo, the giant armadillo, and the screaming hairy armadillo. Also, Pangolins live in sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia, whereas armadillos live in North, Central, and South America. All species of pangolins are endangered due to habitat loss and poaching for their meat and scales because their scales are believed to have medicinal properties. In fact, the pangolin is the world's most heavily poached animal. By contrast, only seven of the nine different species of armadillos, such as the giant armadillo and the Brazilian three-banded armadillo, are listed as near-threatened or vulnerable. Two species, the screaming hairy armadillo and the nine-banded armadillo, are listed as least concern. In fact, the nine-banded armadillo's population is increasing. Well, that was it. My creature comparison on the pangolin and the armadillo. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's return to the safari hat and see what the next creature comparison is going to be, shall we? All right, here we go. Mm hmm. Well, for the next one, we'll be going ape, but on a much smaller scale. Alpha Lion Simba, out.